Welcome to the installation video for the new Happy Trails KLR650 Elite tailplate system. This new tailplate system has been redesigned in 2017 to add some new features. Originally it was designed to replace the old OEM cast metal tailplate system with this lightweight but strong aluminum tailplate system. One of the new changes in 2017 for this system is that the tailplate has been milled out for a bigger tailplate that allows you to run the quick release system with the Happy Trails top boxes. Another change for 2017 is the addition of these L brackets which allow for greater flexibility when installing the tailplate system. And the final change for 2017 is in the old system, the blinkers needed to be spliced and additional hardware was necessary to install this tailplate system. However, with the changes for 2017, uh, this is no longer required. You do not need to splice wires or use additional hardware. You can simply use the OEM hardware that came with your blinker system. With that said, the first thing that we want to do is confirm that we have all of the hardware that we need to do the installation before we begin. So let's do that now. For hardware, you should have received two of these L brackets, the tailplate itself, two of these side brackets, and various hardware. Now, depending on whether you're running the SU rack or the SL rack or perhaps no rack at all, you'll receive various bolt lengths and spacers to make it work depending on what your setup is. So now that we've verified that we have all of the hardware, Let's go ahead and get the bike up on the lift here and we'll begin the install. The first thing we'll want to do is remove the two turn signal bolts here to free up the turn signal and then we'll just let the turn signal hang for now. And then once you have this turn signal off, we'll go ahead and do the same on the other side and remove that turn signal as well. Next we'll remove these two bolts from the top of the tail rack. There is a 10 millimeter nut underneath the rear fender just above the tire and then once you've removed the front bolt from the tailplate the tailplate should just lift away as you can see here I have the happy trails SU rack so if you don't have that obviously you won't see any of this but the bolts that we remove uh, are still the same now that we have the tailplate off, we'll go ahead and drop one of these risers in here. And before we bolt it down, we're going to go ahead and connect the turn signal to it. It's a little bit easier to do this before the riser is bolted into place. So we're going to do that with two M6 by 16 bolts with an M6 washer on either side and an M6 nylon lock nut. Okay, now that we've got our blinker on the riser, we'll go ahead and drop the riser in place. And this front bolt, since I'm running the SU rack, is going to be an M8 by 65 with an M8 lock washer and a flat washer on it. And then with the SU rack, I'm going to run a 3 quarter inch spacer in between the riser and the rack. You may use some different spacers and a different configuration depending on what you're running with the tailplate system, but that will all be provided in the hardware kit. And then on the rear here we'll be using an M8 by 30 with a half inch spacer in between and an M8 flat washer on either side with an M8 nylon lock nut. Okay, now that we have this side on, I'm going to leave everything fairly loose here and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. The only difference on the other side, this is the non-exhaust side, is on the rear bolt here, we're going to run an M8 by 25 with no spacer in between the riser and the rack. And this applies to the SU rack. You, you may be running a different configuration, but for this setup, 
no spacer in between the riser and the rack. Now that we have the risers on, we can go ahead and put the L brackets on. And as you can see, I already have the L brackets in place and I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. You want to make sure that the L brackets are on the inside of the riser, not the outside. And you also want to make sure that the M8 by 25 bolts have the head on the inside and the nut on the outside, of course with a flat washer on either end. And the reason for that is that when we go to put the top plate on, when we put the bolt down through the top plate, it will interfere with this if the orientation is incorrect. So let's go ahead and, and leave these loose for now so that we have some wiggle room when we go to put the top plate on. And we'll go ahead and put the top plate on and we'll take four of the M8 by 25 bolts and drop them through the top plate into the L brackets with an M8 washer on either end and then we'll add an M8 nylon lock nut underneath each one. And once you have all of the bolts in place and you have the tailplate where you want it, go ahead and tighten everything down and that will complete the install for the Happy Trails Elite tailplate system. Another optional item that you can install is if you want to take the helmet lock off of your old tailplate, uh, there's just two bolts on the back there, you'll find two bolt holes right here on the back that you can bolt that on with and you can hang your helmet right from the back of the tailplate back here. Thank you for watching and I hope this video has been helpful for you in installing your new Happy Trails Elite tailplate system.